Babies, ooh, I love babies. Babies love me because I think they see me as one of them. And I really do think that. They see me and I'm like, they're like, oh my God, another baby. Oh yeah, they love sucking on these. It's crazy. I mean, I do too though, because I have an iron deficiency, so it just t shit tastes good. Like, have you, do you guys like the taste of blood? <laughs> do you? Does anyone here like the taste of blood? Because I like it. I like the taste of blood. I like the taste of like pennies and like metal and like poles and jewelry. Like dirty jewelry tastes so good. It's like got that like, like, oof. I think my mom gives me iron pills. <laughs> She's nodding her head over there. My mom definitely gives me iron pills. Cause I used, no, I used to literally suck on pennies and shit. And like, I would lick poles. My dumb ass. My <laughs> But don't they make you constipated? <laughs> they don't make me constipated. I don't get constipated. I poop, I poop just fine. I love pooping, go on. Poof, pooping underrated. One billion percent underrated. Pooping is my favorite part of the day. There was one day I pooped eight times. That was the best day of my life. And they were all solid, good poops, too. Like, no, like, bullshit poops, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't like, oh, I'm done. I wasn't also like, those are the bad poops. When you poop a me, like, yo, I'm really talking about poop out here. <laughs> I love pooping, dude. But here's the thing, it's really about your diet, because you can have miserable poops. People who don't like pooping are probably people who eat like shit. But sometimes when you eat like shit, your poop is incredible. Sometimes it's horrible. You eat a bunch of hot Cheetos, that is burning poop. Burning, like a, uh, like a lighter down there. Like, hold it there. What? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm really flipped out by teenagers, dude. But I am one too, so I don't know. Overrated! Overrated as hell. Prom? Ew. It's where the most beautiful girls get asked by the worst dudes to prom, and they're like, yeah, because they finally found someone that likes them. Why is every pretty girl with a horrible looking man? I don't understand. Listen, I'm not shaming people for their looks, but I am though. You give an ugly guy a chance, he thinks he rules the world. Liter I swear to God. Because they got a hot girl, they can be horrible. Like you're still ugly though. Can't change that. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's like why like guys with small dicks get like huge mansions to make up for it, you know? Or like, like really nice cars, <laughs> you know? Invisalign can suck my dick, <laughs> honestly. Invisalign, like, okay, you know what? Here's the thing, when I got it, the first time it was the worst, I would not have, like I would have rather like cut off my nose or some shit instead of having Invisalign. But it did work really well and very fast. And it's off now and I'm good, so. Fine, it's fine. It's, shit is expensive as fuck. And dude, I mentioned it in my album and I still didn't get it for free. I still had to pay OD money, still oh, so stupid. So stupid. I gave him, mm, gave him so much. Stupid promo. These bitches still make me pay for a little clear grill. But Invisalign doesn't want to give me free Invisalign, so fuck them. Overrated. You know, <laughs> I've never sleepwalked. My mom one time was like, Billy, <laughs> you rapped a whole verse while you were sleeping. <laughs> She said that while I was asleep, she was like, what was it? She were laying next to me and I wrapped the whole verse. I was asleep, I wrapped. I don't sleepwalk. That shit is terrifying. That's terrifying. And then there's like stories about people like waking up with like a knife, like over someone. 
And they don't remember it? Okay. Oh, I sleepwalking. Don't sleepwalk, that shit is creepy. Tie yourself to your bed, I don't care. Do some bondage on yourself, I don't care. Well, I've never been to school. I grew up homeschooled, stayed homeschooled, never was not homeschooled. The thing is, like, I still learned everything, you know? But I, I learned it in life, you know? I learned, like, how to do math by cooking with my mom and seeing how many halves are gonna make this amount, you know? How, how are we gonna, if we doubled this recipe, how many more do we have to put in this batch right here? And so that's how I learned math. And then I learned, like, how to build shit from my dad. What I'm saying is, like, I learned shit in life. I didn't have to, like, because I feel like when you're, when, you're, when you're sat down and somebody's, like, shoving things in your throat, you're not going to want to eat them. It's like everybody forced everybody's kid to eat broccoli, right? Nobody likes broccoli. But maybe you weren't forced to eat broccoli. You're like, shit, this shit is good as hell. Some, with some butter? I mean, there's a lot of ways to do it. There's, I think some people do it the wrong way, which is just, like, makes your life horrible and miserable and boring. And that's mainly because of your parents. Because parents are lazy as fuck. That's why they send their kids to school in the first place. I don't want to teach you, bitch. You know what? I actually really like high heels. I think high heels are really dope. And I've been feeling the urge to put them on recently. Like, just an urge. I don't know what it is. I don't know why these things are happening. I got acrylic nails. I wore hair extensions the other day. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> Some weird shit. I'm not used to it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I love heels. I think heels are really dope. I think they're really cool. I think they... Sometimes they're designed really well. They're really pretty. I think it's a really cool idea, too. I know bitches are uncomfortable, too. So that's, there's that. But comfort is not always key. These pants suck to wear, but they're fire, though. So I wear them. Underrated, because I think for a while, they were kind of, like, frowned upon. And I don't think people give Goss credit for, like, <laughs> giving everyone now all of their fashion influence. You know what I'm saying? Because I literally saw like an old ad for, like an old like motivational video thing <laughs> about this girl that wears like all black and she's like pretty like emo, goth, whatever. She goes to school and everybody like, nobody likes her and everyone makes fun of her and da 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 da. And I just was watching it like, if, if that was now and there was one girl who dressed like that, she would be like, everyone would idolize her. Everyone would think she was so cool. And I don't think, like, I just think people don't give goths enough credit, you know? Because all, like, that's what people wear now. Chains and, like, chokers and, like, those, like, pointy chokers and shit. That all came from that whole emo world, you know what I'm saying? You, I remember, like, when I was, like, 10 or 11, you'd wear, like, all black and people like, what are you, goth? when you wear like a shirt that's black and some pants that are black too. People don't give them enough credit, man. Everyone's goth now. Ooh, underrated. I have a tree house that my dad built us uh, that's like so high in the tree in our backyard. And I can go so high that I'm like sitting at the top of the tree, like, it's crazy. I can see like the whole like neighborhood. It's amazing. And I used to sit up there and write songs in the rain with my ukulele. And I also had a pulley. So I'd put the pulley over the branch. I'd, I'd be down there. I'd put the ukulele in the pulley. I'd go up into the tree. I'd grab the, the rope and I'd pull it up. I'd grab the ukulele. I'd climb up more into the tree. I'd sit on my little thing and I'd write a song with my little notebook. Underrated. Oh my God. Avril Lavigne was everything to me, dude. She. I love Avril. I really, I, I love Avril Lavigne. I, t I only love her. Like, I don't, no, there's nothing else there. I just love. Like, only love. There's like almost no artist like that. Like, Avril Lavigne and Justin Bieber, I only love. Like, her, Tyler, 
Gambino and Bieber, to be honest, made me. I would not be, and Lana, probably. Yeah, there's no way. My God. She, she has my number, though. She texts me sometimes. Oh, it's so cool. She's like, hey, babe, it's Avril XO. Oh, my God. Sheesh. 